Today we can discuss about the normal gastrointestinal embryology and associated pathology. Our gastrointestinal tract is composed of foregut, midgut and hindgut. The foregut is the structure starting from the esophagus to duodenum at the level of pancreatic duct and common bile duct. And that insertion point is called the ampulla of water. Let's see some images to understand it more, clear, more clearly. This is the pancreatic duct and this is the common bile duct and this junction is uh, where these two ducts join and this bulging portion is called a ampulla of water and till here we have the foregut. From here the esophagus to the stomach to the proscenial portion of the duodenum we have the foregut. The rest portion which continues the midgut. Midgut is the area that starts from the lower duodenum to the proscenial two-thirds of the transverse column. During embryological period, the midgut area will have high proliferative growth strains. Since the abdominal cavity will not have sufficient space for the midgut proliferation, it will be herniating outside the abdominal cavity to the umbilical ring. This is the normal physiological herniation. So, when it occurs in the sixth week of the embryological age, during the sixth week, when it gets herniated outside the abdominal cavity, it will undergo a 90 degree of rotation. During the ninth and tenth week, it will undergo remaining 180 degree counterclockwise direction. So, all together we have 270 degree of counterclockwise direction rotation. We know that the midgut is associated with the superior mesenteric artery. Let's see the image for more clarification about the rotation and herniation. This area is the midgut and this one is the hindgut and this one is the foregut. Foregut is supplied by the artery called the celiac trunk. Midgut is supplied by the superior mesenteric artery. Hindgut is supplied by inferior mesenteric artery. This is the image of showing that the midgut is herniating through umbilical ring. During the, devel during the development, like it herniate to the umbilical ring and undergo when after, on the sixth week, after that it will have the uh, rotation. That will be in counterclockwise rotation about 90 degree initially on the sixth week. That is the uh, showed in the image. This one. And this area having this is the rotation shown here and um, after uh, this area this this is the cranial limb and this is the caudal limb and after that uh, on the eight nine ten weeks or eight weeks it undergo further rotation about 180 degree this can be seen in this image so in this image they show that the there is a rotation about 270 degree. Here you can see that this area, this area is is like this. So more rotation happen in this area, and after the completion of 270 degree, we will have the the structure like this. So this is the structure after the complete rotation. This is the normal physiological digestive system. If we have any abnormality in this rotation, we have pathology. That is mild rotation and valvus. Mild rotation is the anomaly of the midgut during the fetal development. There will be improper positioning of the, uh, the cecum and colon. Mostly it will be positioned in the 
right upper quadrant closer to the duodenum area so and there will be also a fibrous band this is called lad band associate with with the cecum and colon to the right lower quadrant retroperitoneal region during the course of this band to the uh, to the uh, right lower quadrant to retroperitoneal region they obstruct the uh, duodenum area so mostly this obstruction occur below the level of the ampulla of water joining the duodenum so as a result of that there will be a bilus emesis can be seen in the patient who having um, this obstruction the malrotation problem and also the stomach will have more distended so this uh, malrotation can also lead to bulbous and duodenal obstruction as we know the bulbous is due to the abnormality in rotation there will be a twisting of portion of bowel around itself and also with the mesentery mesentery is the organ that will make the uh, the structure of the gi to the posteriorly so it is a double uh, fold of peritoneum and it this will lead to the obstruction of the lumen obstruction of the lumen and also the infraction so the infraction is due to the when it this valves is get rotated it will be occluding the superior mesenteric artery so as a result of that there will be a ischemic and also the infraction there will be a gradual pain or sudden pain in the abdomen as a result of this and mostly the midgut valves is more common in the infant and the children sigmoid valves is appear like is mostly seen in the adult and they it appear like a coffee bean structure in the x ray let's discuss a question related to the my topic i already discussed a 3 day old boy brought to the emergency department due to poor feeding emesis and lethargy over last 24 hours the patient was uncomplicated vaginal delivery to 30 year old woman baby was exclusively best feeding until the onset of the symptom he is dehydrating and abdominal was distended the patient vomit while examination and it appear yellowish that means there is a bilus vomiting on laboratory the fibrous band extended from the cecum and right colon to retroperitoneum extensive compression of the duodenum which of the following embryological process most likely fail in this patient so what will be the answer the patient actually they suffer from different problem one is like uh next i mark uh the one is the patient is uh, having poor feeding emesis lethargy over last 24 hour and uh, there is no complication in the delivery there is no problem in that and also there is most important point is that there is a um, fibrous band extending from the cecum and right column to retroperitoneum area and which compress the duodenum that is the problem actually the compression occur below the junction of the ampullar water gen ampullar water that is why we appear the yellowish on the um, vomit so that is bile so what will be the problem we, uh, of this different this is we know that this will be a mild rotation problem so this is the midgut rotation around the superior mesenteric artery so the answer will be this one c so we can discuss other uh, options failure of gut recanalization if there is a gut recanalization problem there will be a um, not like this like there will be a double bubble sign can be seen on the x ray that is not seen and also we cannot see a yellowish uh, vomit that means bile bile cannot be seen in the vomit 
and second one is a the fusion of central and dorsal pancreatic duct that is not in this case there is no fibrous band uh, uh, in the patient who have that uh, like that and also there will be a, a patient who have like this problem like a diffusion problem there will be a more pancreatitis the pain in like a belt like pain can be seen in the patient and uh, and not related to any like fibrous band or compression of duodenum and um, in neural crest cell migration around the uh, superior mesenteric artery that is also not the option and obliteration of the omphalomesenteric duct that is uh, this is not the option also this is like a uh, mecal diverticulum mecal diverticulum cannot be like a fibrous band that which compresses the duodenum